fixed up his rental property. And Roy did qualify, and the money did come. But instead of paying off the loan all at once, he just kept sending those monthly payments. He thought it was like a mortgage, like the mortgages he'd been paying for years before the storm. Roy found out how big a mistake he made when he came home and he found this sign on his house. Can you read what it says? Um, five-day notice to vacate the premises for a civil court of New Orleans State, February 4th, 12th, 2015. Occupants. I don't know when I became occupant in my house. Owner wants possession. When have you became the owner? That's the, the loan partners. Here's the thing. Loan Partners does own Roy's house now. Both his houses. Roy didn't pay off his loan. The houses went into foreclosure, and the Loan Partners got them. Roy and Danielle can't really believe this. They're challenging it in court and appealing the sale. I talked to one of the guys at Loan Partners, Bob Bergeron. He said no, their business isn't built on squeezing people in tough terms and then taking their property. Most of the people they've lent money to haven't defaulted, he says, and that seems to check out. It's not such an unusual loan for a professional real estate investor, but it is for Roy, who is so far from where he thought he'd be at this moment, close to losing his home for the second time in 10 years. To say that it's been 10 years, it should be kind of, you know, it's like time, time to get it back together, and now I'm back like I'm going back down this road. That 10 years later, I should be there, I should be stepping to another step in, in life. There are so many lots for sale in the Lower Ninth Ward since the storm. And in Roy's neighborhood, people are buying them up, building new houses, then turning them around and selling them for a couple hundred thousand dollars just down the street from him. It's a fortune compared to what Roy paid 15 years ago. What do you think the neighborhood will be like, like in 10 years? 10 more years? Well, all this will be gone. The back home will be out of here. 10 more years, this is just my theory. They're gonna be done kicked all of us out of here. They're gonna have this nice big pretty house back here. Had a street car come down to the middle. They're gonna have a jogging thing in the back. Levy and then we'll be gone for good. I hope not, because I hope to still be here. Roy's original plan was to buy properties in the lower night and rent them out to pay for his home. With the neighborhood booming, that's exactly what's happening. For other people. facing east you can look through the fence and do that now you see the remains of the Holy Cross school and you can see it was once a beautiful old southern school three stories with columns and balconies and curved brickwork now left here basically to rot look the windows are boarded up and there's a bright blue tarp on the roof that's ripping into shreds it's been up there so long there's some kind of scary looking black mold that I think I see peeking through the bricks what you're looking at Right now, believe it or not, is the site of one of the big gentrification fights in the Lower Ninth. This last year, a developer has been trying to build an upscale high-rise here, condos, seven stories.